Good morning, Tubies. It's Psyche Bob. I just woke up and uh, I'm having a day off. It's Christmas Eve and uh, I know normally we do messages from the spirit world today, but Psyche Bob just needs a break. And I just want to relax and have a more peaceful day of just chilling. So why don't you hang with me? Hey, Tubies. Well, I got my shower and I'm getting my hair organized. It was a kind of a fright in the last clip. Anyway, you know my hair, it's so straight that it's like this. It's either totally perfect or it's totally, you know, messed up. There's no middle ground with my hair. So I have to comb it after I get a shower so it doesn't dry all freaky looking. <laughs> I think today I'm going to wear my silver St. Christopher medal again. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this medal. I'm sitting here at... Uh, I got St. Christopher down here sitting on my altar today. We're going to talk more about St. Christopher tomorrow. So definitely, you know, make sure to be back here because I'm going to have my annual Christmas message and St. Christopher might be part of it. So anyways, I'm going to put on my silver medal and I'll be styling. And there we go. Got on my medal. So I'm going to be styling. That's right. We got the style. My hair's flying. It's getting puffy today. I got to fix this hair. I hope you guys don't mind that I take a day off of readings today. I'm taking off today and tomorrow. I'm not doing any readings. I'm just having chillax time and, and I'm just glad you guys are here and I hope you don't mind. And you know, as I've always said, say Bob's in this for the long haul, not just for a flash in the pan. So I have to balance my energy too, you know? So it's Christmas Eve and I'm devoting today to relaxing. So now I know some of you are gonna write and say, well, say goodbye, why aren't you at your mom's? Well, we've decided to do Christmas a little later this year, so I'm going to be down there in January. So just because the schedules of various family members and all, we're going to do it in January. So anyways, I'm at home. I'm home for the holidays. I also wanted to show you guys one of my Christmas gift, Christmas gifts uh, that I'm giving to myself. This is a new pendant that I got and this is to celebrate my advancement in Reiki. As many of you know, I've been working on Reiki and I got my Reiki 1 certification a few weeks ago and I'm now working on my Reiki 2 studies. And Reiki 2 is a, is a lot more intense. I tell you, I'm learning so much, but you know, this is um, one of the sacred Reiki symbols. And um, anyways, it represents my work as a Reiki practitioner. So I've got, it's got the chakras and it's a, it's a very sacred symbol. And so I'm going to consecrate that later tonight on my altar, but uh, I just got it and I'm really enjoying seeing it. It's, it's a beautiful pendant, isn't it? It's very mystical. So that's one of my luxury treats to myself. You know, I just put this uh, pendant in this little bowl to hold it so I wouldn't lose it. I don't remember if I showed you guys this bowl. This is one of my other... Christmas gift treats to myself you know I think you got to treat yourself to some some treats now and then and this is you know I collect beautiful crystal cut glass and this is a vintage piece from the 1950s um, and I just love it. it's all hand cut it's lead crystal and it's hard to see on camera but it's got very ornate kind of like they call daisy wheel pattern that's finely etched in center and frosted and then the, the cuts make the, the crystal just gleam and sparkle. So anyways, that's my newest piece. You can see there's the back side. It's really deep cuts and it's just an elegant little bowl. So it's another piece for my glass collection. And today it's serving as my holder for my Reiki pendant. So there you go. You know, I used to have an uncle. His name was Uncle Alvin. He was a really cool guy, but he used to always say, he said, now, Bobby, you're a young man. You got to be good to yourself. He was a real Southern gentleman type. He had a Southern accent. He said, you got to be good to yourself. I always like to remember that advice. So that's why I occasionally treat myself to a few little luxuries. You need to be good to yourselves, too, and treat yourself to something special. Down, down, ooh. <laughs> hey, TV, just say goodbye. I'm sitting here just looking at my Waterford Crystal Bowl. As many of you know, I am just crazy about Waterford Crystal. And this is one of my bowls that I just, uh, you know, I've been 
organized in my crystal collection and I have this out uh, sitting on this table here and um, anyways I just thought I'd see show it to you I don't know if you guys any of you are into collecting crystal you'll know that Waterford makes some of the most amazing cut glass pieces and they're very heavy you can see how thick this is look at that it's like almost a quarter inch a little more than a quarter inch thick cut glass it's really really heavy I'm not gonna try to lift out drop it but uh, the pattern is just beautiful they're really artworks they're all handmade they're not cheap but I consider them just works of art and to me art's worth whatever you pay for it anyways I got it sitting here on this table and in the middle of the table I've got my latest painting which if you haven't been here in the last few days you may have missed it this is my painting called directed energy weapons and uh, if you like modern uh, art, this is done in a neo-expressionist style. Um, talks about uh, it's meant to give the message of the disruption that the modern technology gives to our lives. These weapons of torture and mass destruction called directed energy weapons. Anyways, if you like this, you can get your own free download. It'll only be up till Saturday. You know, um, get it at my website. There are directions how to download it. And you know you might want to get a print of this from my website and you could even frame it and give it to somebody if you have somebody who for example loves modern art they love neo-expressionism they might really enjoy this piece so um anyways this is kind of it's kind of an intense piece but i think it expresses the drama of what is going on in the united states and really around the world there's a a person who's been injured by the directed energy weapons and this is like kind of the energy that's going through the whole country and through the cosmos so anyways um hopefully you'll you'll go to my website go to psychicbob.com and check that out all right psychic bob's getting ready to head out i gotta throw my hand moisturizer in my bag because you know with this cold weather my hands crack so I got my Louis Vuitton bag packed, and we're ready to head out on the town. Have Louis Vuitton, we'll travel. <laughs> well, you know, I was going to tell you guys also, uh, I'm excited because this upcoming week, hopefully right after Christmas, I'm going to get back my Louis Vuitton bag. I put my big Louis Vuitton bag, my Speedy 35, in the shop to have repair done. I might have told you guys that it got hit. This lady, it's a long story, but this lady attacked me in Walmart. And she hit me with her cart and tore my Louis Vuitton bag. So the bag I'm carrying is my little one. It's actually Louis Jr. Uh, but my big speedy 35 I'm going to get back soon. So we'll have all about that when that comes. Anyways, let's head on out. Come on. And here we are on the elevator. Going down. Now. Woo. Shh. Shh. Down we go. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Getting dizzy. <laughs> All right, we gotta do a quick fashion check here. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, cool having shades, check. Cool having a ski jacket, check. Louis Vuitton bag, check. We're set to go on the town, so come on along. Uh, two B's, I'm out on the street, and boy, have we got an amazing day. It is actually pretty warm out today. And look at our amazing blue sky, my goodness. And look, there is our Sun Lord, brilliant and glowing in the sky. He looks spectacular. So I think it's a day to go out. Second like Bob is going to go out and have some lunch today. You know, I'm devoting today to relaxation. So you guys are just going to hang with me, and we're just chilling today. I tell you, I am so inspired by the beauty of our Sun Lord today just spectacular you know now that uh, we've passed Yule our Sun Lord is reborn and each day we're gonna gain a few extra minutes of light so that means there's more power at least solar power available so I think we'll have to work on some solar spells in the coming weeks I'll we'll teach you guys a little bit of Sun magic would you like that I think that's a great idea there he is, shining down. Oh my gosh, so brilliant. It's a really amazing, really amazing view today, isn't it? Here we are by the famous footbridge. Giving a shout out to my buddy Gav in England. Hey Gav, 
Here's that bridge that you love. We're not going that way though today. We're gonna go have Indian food. I haven't been able to have Indian food in over a week because my work schedule's been so crazy and they have a limited schedule for lunch. So today I got a whole day to myself and I'm gonna enjoy it. Ooh, look at that sun, Lord. He is amazing. Sun Lord bless us all. <laughs> well, let's go on along, guys. The one thing I am not doing today is going to the shopping mall. I tell you, in our area, the stores are all open and people are already on the street acting crazy. So, Sega Vibe is not getting in to that drama. We're going to have Indian food and hopefully just chillax. We're right here at Duke Street. You can see all the cars are out. And we're waiting for that sign over there to say we can cross. Because this is not one street where you dare cross without the signal. Or you will die. <laughs> it's that so You will die. And we ain't doing that. Oh, wow. Look at this unblocked view of our sun god right now. Isn't that amazing? Ooh, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Hail the sun god. Ooh. I think the Sun Lord came to Earth at Christmas. I think Jesus is the form of the Sun Lord. So, hail Sun Lord. Oh, glory to God. Isn't this a beautiful little archway that enters in this neighborhood? It's just beautiful today with the sun filtering through. I'm loving walking. Gosh, I can't believe how warm it is. I might even have to take off my scarf that Darlene Weinbrenner and her daughter Jackie made for me. Guys, I love your scarf, but it's getting pretty warm today. <laughs> well, you know, it'll get cold again. I know it will, so I'll definitely keep my scarf. By the way, I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who sent me presents. I got a bunch of little presents in the mail from YouTubers, and uh, I'm going to be showing those tomorrow and talking about them. So. Be back here tomorrow. We're going to talk about the presents. But I'm just glad you guys are here today with me. And uh, we got a great day to be out and walking. I tell you, this is very festive and appropriate. Here's a little holly tree. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And look at, oh, it even has the red berries on it. Oh my God, can you guys see that? I don't know if it's showing up here on camera, but it's got, there it is. Red berries, yay! <laughs> That's so cool. I'm loving it. Well, Sig Bob's getting hungry. We gotta get on to the India restaurant. Yeah, probably some people think that's weird, like eating Indian food on Christmas Eve, but I don't know. They have Christmas in India too. You know, it's very interesting because a lot of Hindus I know, even though they're Hindu, they still honor Christmas because they believe that Jesus is a form of God. Hindus and the Wiccans actually share a lot in common. And so I feel a real affinity to Hinduism. Well, let's walk on along, guys. I'm basking in the glory of the sun god. Ooh, and there he is, still shining down. Gosh, it's a beautiful day. I really needed this break, you know, this gentle air and the warm sun. It's rejuvenating Psyche Bob. It really is. Oh, guys, look at this. These people did such beautiful decorations. They have these Etruscan vases here with beautiful little decorations on them. And they got a wreath on their door also that matches. Isn't that just spectacular? I don't know if you can see the wreath. It's kind of dark here, but it matches these vases and their decoration. That's really beautiful. I love this neighborhood. They always do the best stuff here. It's nice, isn't it? Oh my gosh, we got to go and see the gazebo real quick before we go to lunch. Look at this, guys. They got Christmas tree and decorations in the big gazebo up here. We got to go check this out. Come on along. <laughs> Hail the Sun Lord. Look at this, guys. This is the town gazebo. Isn't this beautiful? Oops, I got glare. I don't know if this is coming on camera. I hope it is. There it is. 
they've draped beautiful bunting all around this and in the middle of the gazebo they got a Christmas tree let's go in and look at it come on along oh isn't that sweet oh I love that right in the middle of this beautiful gazebo isn't this wonderful we can walk around all sides of it and see it and isn't it just lovely look at that I love that you know this is what I call community spirit and you know over in my neighborhood across the way we're really lacking in community spirit nobody ever does anything like this but in this little town they really they really make the effort I love it you know I'm all into the holidays I really am you know oh that's so cool well we gotta go get some lunch so let's go on along huh it's a great day to be out and about, I tell you. I can just taste that London curry house. I'm loving it. So you guys having a quiet Christmas Eve? What's your Christmas Eve like? Do you have any traditions? Like do you go to church or do you do a ritual or you know, maybe you light the menorah? Actually, I don't think Hanukkah starts yet. I think it starts on 26, but... Or do you light the menorah before Hanukkah and then it culminates on Hanukkah? I can't remember. Anyways, if we have any Jewish people or anybody knows about it, tell me about that. What's, what's the Hanukkah tradition? Do you light the menorah leading up to Hanukkah or do you start lighting it on Hanukkah? I can't really remember. Hmm. Well, I'd love to hear anybody knows. Here we are! Ooh, my favorite, favorite restaurant, London Curry House. No, they are not paying me to do this. I just love them. I'm not being endorsed. But here they are. I hope they're open. Oh, it looks like people are inside. Look at their pretty wreaths. Isn't that nice? Yay! Well, what a great way to celebrate Christmas Eve by coming to my favorite, favorite restaurant. Oh, look, and they got a beautiful tree. Look at their tree. Isn't that pretty? so festive and they got presents oh maybe there's a present for Seggy Bob under there <gasps> hey Nima how are you good to see you. can I take one hello hello Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas good to see you I'm doing you too. this is my buddy Kamar this is my guru welcome to Lanikari house oh thank you so much well I was just you telling the YouTube place. God bless you it's my favorite restaurant and you are my favorite always oh you're so nice and your favorite is Nima Nima's my favorite helper too all right, Nima, you gonna help me get to my table here? Yeah. All right, I get my. They got it reserved. They knew Psycho Bob was coming. See, they just knew. <laughs> here I am, my favorite table, and we're gonna get ensconced. They just recently revamped their lunch menu. It's very elegant, and they bring it to you. It's on this beautiful leather pad. It's very posh, and they have appetizers, lunch specials, their lunch express. Really great prices and amazing food. I'm thinking today that I want to get a samosa. Oh, I love their samosas. And I recently got into eating this dal tadka. It's a, like a yellow lentil dish. It's so good. All vegetarian, by the way. So no pita people attack me. I'm eating vegetarian, okay? So there you go. And I got my iced tea here, my glass of water. Sig Bob is just chilling. And I'm so excited to be here. They'll be taking my order and then I'll be eating like a king. Oh guys, look what's just arrived. Nima brought me some. What do I have here, Nima? Here I have your samosas. Samosas. With the tamarind and honey mustard chutney. Ooh, with tamarind and honey mustard. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you so much, Nima. Yay, guys, look at that. Oh my God, doesn't that look great? You have got to come to London Curry House. I'm telling you, it is the best. They're on Instagram too, and I'll put all their links below, so. I'm going to indulge in this. Ooh, this is a great way to start the day. Oh my God, if you've never had Indian samosas, you don't know what you're missing. They're like a pastry shell, like fried, and they have potatoes and peas and like a little curry in them. They serve it with this wonderful honey mustard and mango chutney sauce. <laughs> you want to talk about heavenly. Mmm. I love it. So good. 
One of the books I'm reading today is called Living the Reiki Way. As I was saying earlier, I'm really excited about working on my second degree Reiki, and I'm reading this as kind of part of my studies, um, because it talks about the Reiki principles, and I'll just give you a sense of it. Here's the, the contents. So, it covers a lot of stuff. I really recommend this book. It's called, like, um, it says, like, Part one, Reiki basics. What is Reiki? The origins of the Reiki principles. Part two, living in the now. Part three, living without anger. Part four, living without worry. Part five, living with gratitude. Part six, living with kindness. Part seven, living, working, and learning. And there's more, but that's just a little touch in on that but I really recommend this so if you're interested in exploring Reiki Reiki is is a form of healing it's a spiritual healing technique that originated in Japan but it's so much more than just healing it's like an entire way of relating to life in the cosmos so that's that's on my list today I thought what a great day to relax and have a day off and I can work on this wonderful mystical book so, so I'm working on I'm also working on my samosa over here, <laughs> and I'm having a great time with that. My goodness. I think my food's about to arrive. They just brought my nice, elegant dinner plate. Their plates are so elegant. They have a beautiful chased pattern in them, but they must have some sort of plate warmer because it's like, it is so freaking hot out. I can't even touch it. I don't know if it just came out of the dishwasher or just, I think they have a plate warmer though. Uh-oh, look what's coming. I think this is my food. Nima, is this my lunch? Yes, you don't have your dal tarka. Dal tarka, all right. And a rice. rice. Uh, and a non bread, all right. Can you tell me, Nima, is this a traditional Indian dish, this dal? Yes, it is. It's a lentil mixed up with Indian spice. Wonderful, lentils with Indian spices. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. This is exciting. Enjoy it. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna live like a king today. This is a beautiful golden lentil dish. And it's just delicious. It's soft, it's easy to digest, it's good on stomachs. And you pour it over the rice here, isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's got little bamboo shoots in it. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna eat one of those for a while. And of course, we have to have a delicious naan bread. Ooh, Sega Bob is loving it. Oh God, this looks so good. Mm -hmm. That wins an award. You know, this dish is garnished with bamboo shoots and I'm gonna eat a bamboo shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. Well, Tubies, it's time for my afternoon nap. I'm relaxing at the lounge here at London Curry. I saw these luxurious sofas with pillows. And think about just chilling. Maybe I'll order a martini. Right over there's the bar. Watch the game. Just chillax. Tubies, I had the best lunch today. This is the head chef here. Would you like to introduce yourself to the Tubies? Yes, sir. My, my, my name is Ram. Ram? Chef Ram Tapa. Oh, that's a wonderful. That's like Lord Ram. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's good. And you do wonderful cooking here. I got to tell you, I had amazing lunch today. And I want to say thank you for your excellent work. So, do, what regions of India do you cook for? Do you cook all northern or southern or both? Yeah, usually I do the northern uh, cuisine. Ah, okay. I do the some southern cuisine too. All right. Well, I'm telling you, you guys have to come out to London Curry House. Ram is a wonderful and amazing chef. Thank you for your help today. It's been a great time. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. We'll Take see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Isn't he wonderful? I'm telling you, it's the best. Well, we had such a good time here today, and I'm just glad you guys came along with me. Well, guys, I had the best lunch today at London Curry House. Their decorations look great. If you're in Alexander, Virginia, definitely come check them out. They're at 4906 Somerville Road, London Curry House. 
you can't miss it. It's the best. <laughs> well guys, I've had the best time with you today. I think I'm going to walk along and do some quiet contemplation, some meditation. You know, I'm really trying to make some downtime today. So I really appreciate you guys letting me have a day off of doing psychic readings. You know I love to read for you. We're going to be back to that next week to our normal schedule. But this Tuesday I'm just chillaxing and Wednesday I'm chillaxing. So I hope wherever you are you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve or whatever holiday you celebrate. And uh, make sure to be back here tomorrow because I'm going to do my annual Christmas greeting for all of you and share my thoughts about this mystical time. So be here tomorrow and we'll see you then. By the way, if you haven't done so, treat yourself to something for Christmas by subscribing to Spirit Channel. Hit that subscribe bell and if you want to give Psycho Bob a present, you could give me a thumbs up and a like this. Favorite it, share it with your friends, enjoy my channel. Guys, thanks for being here. I love all of you. Mm. I send my greetings and my blessings. And we'll be back here tomorrow for more. And until then, may all of you always blessed be.